this isn't Samantha, leave a message. Fuck you, Jason. I don't need any more of your shit. And don't call me back. the others. He killed them. He killed them all. Don't worry. We're gonna make it. We'll protect you. Run! Now what? Do you want to walk back to town in the middle of the night with that psycho outside? We won't have to walk. Not him. <laughs> hands where I can see him. Calm. Stay where you are and put your hands where I can see them. Tom, you're making a big mistake. It's Officer Carter to you, you piece of shit. What happened to you? Are, are you hurt? Did, did he do something to you? It wasn't him. It's someone else. He's hunting us. Hunting? You have to get us out of here. Tom, please. You need to trust us. Please. 
All right, all right, all right, but you're both riding in the back until we can clear all this up. Thanks, man. I'm sorry if I ever, uh... Don't. We were kids back then. Besides, you're not off the hook yet. Oh, my God, it's him again! What the hell is this? Tom? Tom, take us back to town! Please, Tom, get in the car and let's get out of here. Drop your weapons and raise your hands. I, I, I said drop your weapons! Is he dead? Something's not right. Get out of here. Careful of the glass. No, Jason. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go get the keys. Anybody's fucking head off. That son of a bitch broke my ribs. I'm the one shooting fucking heads here. I'm gonna teach him not to mess with me. And when the motherfucker shows his face, I'm gonna be the last thing he sees before I send him.
son of a bitch! Waiting for finish it. neighbor. We've known each other since we were kids. We used to play together. Remember? You were the princess. I, I was your servant. I would carry stuff for you. Please, Sammy, please. You have to believe me. We came here together to spend the weekend. And my parents let us use their cabin so we could have one last vacation before school.
were having a nice weekend until something fell from the sky. Hey guys, let's go check that shit out. Come on. I wanted to leave. The rest were curious. We went to see what it was. I tried to convince them we should leave. This could be dangerous, and we should leave it to scientists. Fuck science, he said, and did the most stupid thing. I managed to escape. I knew what I had to do. weren't my friends anymore. I had to hunt them down, and I had to kill them. I had to stop them before they got out to civilization and infected every single one of us. If there's any human left inside you...
I'll talk to you later. You too. My mother. You're gonna love her. Champagne. Mm -hmm. I'm moving up in the world. Oh, the world is just catching up with you to us. <laughs> what? Nothing. You were looking in the mirror. We should order dessert, celebrate. You have to stop this, Anna. Let's talk about something else. Okay, it's time to let this obsession go. <sighs> I'm not the prettiest girl you were ever with, David. I'm not with... I don't think like that. <laughs> Everyone thinks like that, trust me. Well, at least let me savor the injustice. Looks are overrated. Now, your imagination is not always your friend, Anna. I just want you to be as happy as you make me. Making things official between us. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Me too. <laughs> you know, when I was talking to my mother, she she said if you ever want to discuss anything with a plastic surgeon. You talked about my face with your mother? I'm, I'm sorry, I just... My mother has had work done, Anna. And she understands these things. <laughs> You're so handsome. She must have always been beautiful. Well, she is now. She's extraordinary. <laughs> Life is too short to worry about what you look like. I will pay for everything. Uh, You'll feel better about yourself. Hmm? Anna, Dr. Lanier will see you now. Come on back. I think we can make you very happy, Anna. Well, I don't expect miracles. I'm getting married. I, I just want to look... Fabulous for the photos. I hear that every day. I've worked on David's wonderful mother. Have you met? Not yet. Hmm. Nothing can prepare you for how... Stunning she looks, if I do say so myself. <laughs> oh, he's being modest. She's a masterpiece. So what what happened? Car accident. Mm. I was two. I don't remember anything. 
other than people staring at me my whole life. You never considered plastic surgery? It was financial. Oh. Well, I'm confident we can eliminate 95% of it. You're serious? Yes. You'll hardly know it was there. <laughs> and, if you're willing, since you'll be under, I could uh, make some other adjustments while we're at it. What woman doesn't have a list? Well, I, I want to look beautiful for David. I would suggest we narrow the nose and give you a bit more chin and cheekbones, of course, for, for balance. Really? It's all about where to put the dermal fillers. I like to inject near the back of the cheek. It gives us volume, not puffiness. You'll love it. I would suggest something more proportional. Hmm? Mm. So I can see it exactly, Anna. You game? <laughs> well, when would we do it? We're here to make dreams come true. Uh, how does next Monday sound? Soon. Why <laughs> wait? We can start the uh, pre-op tests right away. Which hospital? You're in it. Our surgery and recovery is all done right here. Hmm? Yes? <laughs> Good. Good. Now, any really tough questions? Well, other than the scar, am, am I doing the right thing? Am I being vain? Am I... You worry a lot, don't you? Well, not a lot too much yes you are doing the right thing and no you're not being vain what about pain well we'll give you something to keep you comfortable mm. i guess change always hurts a little one way or another a philosopher <laughs> i think we're going to be friends i'll look anna you will never dread the mirror again and david will be the luckiest guy in town You'll have a nice sleep. We'll take care of everything. Huh? Your handsome fiance is in the waiting room. Wish I had one of those. <laughs> Come backwards from 10, honey. Scuffle. How's our favorite patient? Hi. Dr. Lanier has given instructions to change the drains every couple hours. Keep you on something for pain. I just put some in your IV. You let us know, okay? Call button is right there next to the bed. Things went so well, Anna. <laughs> I'm gonna give you two lovebirds some privacy. Doctor will be in to see you in a few minutes, okay? Oh, and uh, try not to talk, honey. Stitches. Oh, hey, the villa in St. Bart's, it's ours. With her own personal chef. Oh, no, don't talk, sweetie. I love you. I dreamed about us.
Yes. No, I, I agree. I will speak with him. I'm very pleased everything went well, but we have one small concern, your oxygen levels. You're not getting quite enough. Happens sometimes with nasal procedures. So why don't we do the smart thing and fix it all tomorrow morning? Get you in and out in no time, hmm? It's all quite common. Nurse uh, Simone will be here all night, give you something for pain. And I'm scheduled now for another surgery, but She'll call me if anything comes up. You're in good hands. I... I had a beautiful dream. But then it got strange. You were there. Well, when you go under, the mind plays tricks, Hannah. When I had my first plastic surgery, I thought I died and met God. I asked him how he got my job. <laughs> So, I'll see you in the morning. Sleep. And no worrying. Promise? I need to make a call. Doctor says no talking for tonight. Phone's off. Anything else? A mirror? Tomorrow. Try to rest. Ferrari Clinic, this is Nurse Simone. Be right down.
tells me you've been a naughty girl. No! No, please! Just relax. Everything's going to be fine. More anesthesia, nurse. Anna, just rest, okay? My mother came to see you. And I want to go get her. Okay? Oh, welcome to the family, darling. Oh, she's lovely. Oh, she's just wonderful. to you. Who are you? I'm the projectionist, Sweetie Pie. I'm the curator of a hundred years of nightmares. Trapped in a silver screen that never forgets. What do you want from me? You might call me a death collector. I would love watching yours.
Anybody here? I'm here. Maybe. But don't be scared. You're safe here. Come on, take this. You really need to get some sleep. Go to your room. Can I please sleep with you? I have work to do. But I will see you tomorrow in class, okay? Hey. You know I love you, right? Yeah.
Who's there? I'm worried about Danny. Peter's suicide was so horrible. I'm frightened. Do you think... Sister, stop. They're kids. Kids are strong. Oh, Danny, so sad, so sad. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. What are you gonna do, tell your mommy? Not again, please, Tanya. Stop, please, I'm mommy's little baby. Hey, come back here. Abaddon, the destroyer. Abraxas, the door between two worlds. Mashid. Mashid. An infernal entity in charge of punishing those who commit lust and incest. Its mission is torturing children and leading them to suicide. What are you doing in here, Father? <laughs> It is Mashid. No. It is Mashid. He's torturing Danny and the other children. Why then? Why now? I don't know. They're in danger. Please. 
It is my sheet. We used to do here together. Before the cross of our Lord, all enemy forces get away from here. I declare you anathema. Satan, depart from this servant, Peter. Depart! <laughs> Depart! He's inside of her. He must kill her before it's too late. Just kill her. dwells in the shelter of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. What are you doing? Get out! Ah! Ah! What are you doing? Get out! Stop! What are you doing? What Show yourself, that? demon! Why are you trying to Get out! Demon! Show yourself! What are you doing? Don't interrupt! The demon is within her! Are you kidding? An exorcism? Are you out of your mind? This is my daughter! Danny, father. She's not the source. Mom? Mom? And through me, thy will be done. done.
Alberto. Something's wrong. What am I gonna do with this? Fight the goddamn devil. of the shadow of death. I fear no evil, for thou art with me.
Good night, children. Dawn breaks a new day. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me. Excuse me? My appointment was for three. Sorry, Dr. Salvador is running late. <sighs> What'd she say, Mom? A few more minutes. Yeah, sure. She told you that an hour ago. Yeah, an hour ago. Just a few more minutes. I'm starving. Looks like they forgot about you. Don't be silly, honey. I just talked to the woman. She said a few more minutes. Yeah, sure. Shouldn't talk back, Eric. What? All I said was, yeah, sure. You shouldn't say it. It's disrespectful. You yeah, sure. I hate to be a pest, but my children are... Try being patient. <laughs> what is it now? I was just thinking that maybe if it's a busy time... It's not. You're the only one here. Besides, the appointment book's already closed. I can't cross you off now. We did you a favor by squeezing you in. You did say it was an emergency, didn't you? Yes. And why would you cancel the appointment? Sorry. Mom, I gotta take a shit. Don't say that word. Well, I gotta go poop. I'll take him. No, no. No one goes anywhere without me. What, not even a men's room? No, not even. Why? Just, I don't like the look of it. Yeah, sure. The doctor will see you now. Cut it out, Ma. Please hurry. He's waiting. Come in. Sit down. When you called, you mentioned something about being afraid. Yes. Why are you afraid? Things keep changing. Changing how? Getting different. 
different how. When did you first notice these changes? Yesterday morning. Things were bad yesterday morning, but then they got better, and now they're getting worse again. And have you mentioned these changes to your husband? I don't have a husband. I, I, I mean, I, I had a husband, but he left two days ago. My husband has nothing to do with the problem. Do people around you seem to be changing? Answer the question, are people around you turning ugly? Yes. You hesitated, aren't you sure? No, I'm sh sure. How do you know? Do you see it too? Tell me about your children. Have you noticed? similar deformities in them. Oh no, not it. Not in my not in my children. They look as normal as I do, as normal as as normal as, as you. They brought me here, you know. How old are they? Nine and eleven. And they brought you here? Yes. There have been moments in the past few days where they seem very mature. Mature? Yes. This morning after I found them. Go on. It was Eric who found the, your number he he made me call you and this sudden maturity is the only change you've noticed in them yes it doesn't last usually they they act like kids and what about everyone else people other than you and the kids is everyone else strangely deformed mm -hmm. Yes. And have these changes accelerated since four o'clock? Yes. And do you consider yourself suicidal? What is it? I have a meeting with some field workers, but I'd like to see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow? We open at 9, but I want you here at 8.30. Tomorrow, 8.30. There's something else you asked if I considered myself... We can discuss that Why won't tomorrow. you help me now? Thank you. Tell me! If I'm crazy, just tell me! It'd be so much easier if someone would just... See my children? What children? My children. Sorry, honey. I haven't seen any children.
Two boys looking for two boys. Have you, have you seen my children? I know you're there. I can't. Can't do this. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, we need to try again. We need, we need to make. Helen. Eric. Thank God. I, I have to. I, um, I have to talk to you. I can't. It's over, Helen. Is that her? Uh, uh, please, Eric. Please. I'm, I'm, I, what about the children? What children? Do it? Yes. We haven't left her much choice. I think so, too. I only wish we'd given her poison instead of a gun. She won't take poison. She needs to do something aggressive. How many bullets were there in the gun? One. That's all she'll need, provided she doesn't miss. And provided she uses it on herself. You know, in a way, I feel sorry for her. It's not her fault she descended. It's no one's fault. Descent from the higher realities is neither fair nor unfair. It's a fact. It happens. It's up to us to deal with it, not pass judgment. Do you think her husband deserting her caused it? That's possible. Have you read Dr. Pico's study on traumatic descent? No. Do so. If you're going to make field work a career, you'd be wise to keep up on the literature. I just keep thinking it'd be so much better if we could just elevate her back. 
Yeah, sure. How are we going to do that if we don't even know what reality she came from? We might be able to figure it out. We know she had a family. We know she had two boys, Eric and Chris. We know she loved them. You don't know that. We can infer it. Have you seen the way she looks at us? It's not the way she looks at other things. She's seen the children she left behind. She told me about that when we talked. She told me that I looked normal. I believe that she only heard some of what I said to her. She's having auditory as well as visual hallucinations. Are you sure that suicide is the only option? It's the only practical one. There's a slight chance, a theoretical chance, that she could return the way she descended. It has happened, but... It would take a resilience she doesn't have. So we have to kill her? No. She has to kill herself. We're physicians, not murderers. Well, where is she now? Right outside the door in the hallway, listening. You're kidding. Open the door, see for yourself. I heard them moving out there. <gasps> said that? Chris, I warned you, Chris. I warned you about that kind of talk. Come on. Mom! Mom, where are we going? Home. missed him but I didn't you were absolutely wonderful tonight honey great son I mean just great best by far 
It's not a competition, Dad. Don't kid yourself. Life is a competition. And don't you forget that. <laughs> <laughs> so who was that composer? New guy or old guy? Um, new guy. <laughs> European? American. I wrote it, Dad. Yeah. Wait, you wrote that? Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's pretty good. <laughs> For an American. <laughs> I'm glad you can make it, Dad. I wouldn't have missed it for the world, son. Get out of the car! Whoa, whoa! Don't fucking look okay. at me! Get out of okay. the car! Uh. Hey! All right, just everybody calm down, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Get out of the car. Please don't hurt my son! Get out! Get out. Back what? up! Okay. Back up, okay. don't look at me! Get on the ground! <laughs> Take what you want! Oh. Get on the floor, don't look at me. Yeah. Riley, please don't hurt us, don't hurt us! It's okay, sweetheart. I'm with you. Who's awake? Can you hear me, son? Just nod your head if you can. All right. Where's my mom? Is she still here? No, no, your mother's not here. Does she, does she go home? You know, son, you need to rest. We'll talk later, okay? I'm, I'm just glad she's still alive. My dad, he's, he's dead, isn't he? No, no, Robbie. I was afraid that he'd kill both of them. Just rest, son. We'll, we'll talk later. Just go ahead, close your eyes, and rest. That's what you need to do now.
Maybe you should go back to bed, mister. You're, you're gonna hurt yourself. What are you doing out here? You should be in bed. That, that man, the one with... The one with all the stitches. A lot of stitches in this place, but I don't know what you're talking about. He, he was right there. Those meds make you dreamy. Let's get that little butt back in bed, mister. Oh. I'm sorry. I don't need no sorry. What I need is for you to stay put. You are lucky to be alive, mister. Go back to bed, Casey. There's nothing for you to see here. Oh, Jesus. Come on, baby. Come on. It's all right. Come on. Come here. It's okay. How do you think you're... Shh. Riley. Mom? I, I... I thought he killed you. I'm right here, sweetheart. It hurts, Mom. Oh, baby, I know. I know. But it doesn't have to. My boy. My beautiful, talented boy. I love you, my little pile of Riley. I love you too, Mom. So come be with me. Just let go. Rest. Go to sleep. Be with me. Forever. Forever? <laughs> That's it, baby. Come home. It's that time, hon, moving day. Time for you to go to a regular room. This is ICU, young man, not the Ritz Carlton. <laughs> and you're getting better. Gotta make room for the people in need. You're lucky to be alive, you know. You were dead on that operating table till they brought you back. I was dead? Your heart stopped for a full 17 minutes. Did you hear the choir? Did you see the white lights? But you're alive now. Somebody upstairs likes you. Thank well. you. Dad? My dad's dead, isn't he? Not now, hon. Huh? I saw that guy shoot him. He's dead, isn't he? I'm not a baby. I saw his brains. He's dead, isn't he? Stop it, son. That talk ain't doing nobody no good. Where's my mom? That's enough, son. Calm down. You sleeping, kid? I got 
got flowers and shit. No, sir, you cannot have flowers in here. Are you family? I'm a family friend. Immediate family only after seven. This boy's got a lot of healing to do, and those daffodils ain't gonna help. Go on home, come back in the morning, and leave the flowers there. It's okay, hon. Go back to sleep. You see him too, don't you? The dead guys. You you can see them? Oh yeah. What's your name? Riley Everson. I'm Casey. So how long were you dead? Um 17 minutes. How'd you know? It takes one to know one. I was only gone for six. You were dead too? All the best people have been dead and back, right? You look like you need to sit down. <coughs> so, how did you die? I, I got shot. Jesus. Who would want to shoot a kid? He killed my dad and maybe my mom. I think I was the only person that lived. Oh, shit, that's fucked up. So, um, how did you... How did I die? <sighs> you try to kill yourself? No, well, for six minutes, I did kill myself. Why? Because everybody lies. People only tell you they love you when they want something from you. So, um, why do you think we can see them, the, the dead guys? I've been thinking about that a lot. So I think that they're lost, like in between where you live and where you die. Maybe we can see them because we were there too. I think they know where we've been and they want to get some of what we got. I don't even think they know they're dead. I saw my mom. Really? When she touched me, I could feel it. It was really cold. Did she talk to you? Mm-hmm. She told me that she loved me and that she wanted me to be with her. If she's, like, dead, I don't think that's such a good thing. Maybe she's not dead. Maybe. I think you should sleep. You look like shit. <laughs> but if you get lonely or scared or something, just come over to Casa Casey, okay? Really? Us living dead, we gotta stick together. Right. Night, Riley. Night, Casey. Hi, Riles. Hi, Mom. I miss you, honey. But you're dead. Shh, 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 shh. Everything is okay, sweetheart. I promise. I want you to close your eyes, relax, go to sleep. You're so tired. Come on, baby. I need you to come be with me. There won't be any pain anymore. Just relax, let go. No more pain. Leave him alone! Riley, wake up! She wants you dead. <coughs> she wants you to be dead with her. Don't let her take you. Wake up, sleepyhead. Time for breakfast. 
Casey, leave the boy alone. Go on back and have your breakfast. Go on now. Leave the boy be and let him heal. I'll see you later, Riley, okay? That girl is trouble, little mister, and I suggest you keep your distance. I think she's nice. Mm-hmm. Looks like she finished the job. You're not in here, are you, kid?
without you. Sweet dreams, kid. What's going on? Am I dead? Dead? Kid, you ain't never been more alive. But then... I want to get out of here. Do you think you can escape the future that's already been told? Then you run, Riley. You run, boy, now. Run. Go, you little motherfucker. 